The scene is an arid lake bed at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center near the Mojave Desert in California. It's early morning. Engineers and technicians have been here since before sunup. Checkout and preparations for the upcoming flight test are painstaking and deliberate. This is not an ordinary plane. It has a scissor-like design that could prove to be the shape of aircraft to come. Studies indicate that if the design features of the oblique wing, as this 25-foot model is called, were applied to full-size jets, it would allow them to travel faster than sound without leaving the usual sonic boom in their wake and give them increased fuel economy. Before the oblique wing plane takes off, a television-equipped aircraft sweeps over and scans the flight path. What the camera sees will aid this man, the pilot of the oblique wing model. He actually flies the plane from inside this van. Another television camera mounted in the nose of the test aircraft lets him see where the plane's going. Watch now as the ground crew start the engine and launch the oblique wing plane. Researchers carefully record how the aircraft responds to a variety of maneuvers. They compare these responses with wind tunnel predictions to better understand what the aircraft is doing and why it's doing it. As you can see, the, the wing on the aircraft is at an angle to the fuselage such that uh, the left wing points forward of the, of the aircraft. On normal airplanes, the wings are at right angles to the fuselage. On this aircraft, the wing is at an oblique angle such that the, uh, the left wing points forward and the right wing points aft. And this, this feature allows the aircraft to have much lower transonic drag than a conventional aircraft. And for a transonic airplane designed to use this wing, you would fly at 100 to 200 miles an hour with the wing at zero degrees of yaw. As the speed increases, the wing yaw is increased. Research has shown that oblique winged aircraft compared to fixed wing planes use less fuel and can reduce sonic boom levels. The plane's designer, R.T. Jones, says that using the oblique wing takes maximum advantage of wing sweep in a way that fools the wind by making it think you're going slower than you actually are. The next phase of research could include a 1,500-pound plane with a 30-foot wingspan powered by jet engines. It would have a pilot on board. These artist concepts show how the oblique wing design might be applied to transport-type aircraft. The wing, of course, would swing back to a more conventional position for landing. The oblique wing, a unique design that may one day allow planes to fly faster, quieter, and use less fuel. 